let's take up accounting for share capital and uh, the topic I'll take up today is issue of shares at discount. Issue of shares at a discount, uh, supposing the face value of the share is rupees 10 and we have been given that the shares have been uh, issued at a discount of rupee 1 or maybe 10% uh, right. Now 10% means 10% of rupees 10 that is 10% of 10 is 1 rupee right. So now the shares have been issued at rupees 9 that is at a discount of rupee 1. Now whenever discount is allowed on a share it is always on the allotment money right. Now that is a loss for the company whenever discount is uh, allowed the company incurs a loss. Now look at the entry here share allotment account debit discount on issue of shares account debit to share capital account. This is the entry. which is passed when the allotment money becomes due. Okay. Uh, now, one thing that we have to uh, learn here is See, as far as this uh, journal entry is concerned, this is a simple one and after that you will have your uh, bank account to share allotment, that will be the normal entry, right? Mm, here. Like this, right? Now, how this loss is written off. Now this is what uh, I'll explain here. Supposing let's say that um, supposing the discount on issue of shares is let's say 1 lakh rupees. Right, this is the loss that the company has incurred. Now, the discount on issue of shares can be written off either against the securities premium reserve or it can be written off to the profit and loss account. It can be the loss that is this discount, this can be written off against against the securities premium reserve or to the profit and loss account within 3 to 5 years normally take it as 5 years so if we take it as 5 years each year one fifth of the amount will be written off. Now you have this one lakh. What is one lakh into one by five? One lakh into one by five is twenty thousand rupees. So twenty thousand rupees is to be written off every year. Hmm? Okay. Now the thing that you have to understand here is how this will be shown in the balance sheet. That is important, right? Now, the profit and loss account, profit and loss account. Now, here each year, that is first year, second year, up to fifth year, 
you will be showing this uh, discount on issue of shares as other expenses uh, as an expense right and every year this amount will come as 20,000 rupees okay this is uh, first year second year 20,000 once again right and then like this it will go on till the fifth year right 20,000 rupees now here I'll show you the balance sheet which is important here see in the assets you have non-current assets right in non-current assets we have other non-current assets right in this this will be unamortized discount on issue of shares now this is the balance sheet at the end of the first year right you have to understand that at the end of the first year uh, the see you have 1 lakh rupees here right that was the initial amount out of this 1 lakh 20,000 has been written off 20,000 has been written off now what is the balance amount the balance amount is 80,000 right now out of this now this is 80,000 rupees out of this 80,000 20,000 will be written off within the next within the coming 12 months right so that is current assets right and 80,000 from 80,000 20,000 is gone now so what is 80,000 minus 20,000 it is 60,000 now this 60,000 will be shown as a non-current asset because this 60,000 is not going to be written off within the next 12 months so that is taken as a non-current assets now see here other non-current assets the amount will come as 60,000 <clears throat> amount will come as 60,000 and in the current assets part <clears throat> you will have other current assets other current assets this is again an amortized discount on issue of shares right here you will be showing this 20,000 now next year this is for the first year right next year here you see second year again 20,000 is written off okay so when 20,000 is written off the total is how much the total is 80,000 so when you come to second year balance sheet okay this non-current asset other non-current assets this will become how much 40,000 and in your current assets other current assets now out of that this was this is the end uh, this is the figure at the end of the first year this is 80,000 right out of this 80,000, 20,000 is written off in the profit and loss account, right? So, how much is left? We are left with 60,000 rupees, right? Out of this 60,000 rupees, 20,000 will be written off in the next 12 months, in the coming 12 months. So, that is the current asset part. This 12,000, 20,000 is the current asset part. Now, whatever is left, that is 40,000 that will be your non-current assets part okay so now here you have the non-current asset as uh, other non-current assets 40,000 other current assets you will show it as 20,000 okay so this way 
this amount keeps on reducing when you go to the third year in the third year this is how much total is 60000 here out of this 60000 20000 is written off right then in the other current assets you will show 20000 and other non current assets you will show again 20000 only fine and in the fifth year the whole thing will be written off nothing will be there right in fourth year it will be current assets 20000 and that 20000 will be written off in the next year that is the fifth year so the whole loss will be written off in five years each year 20000 rupees okay so that is how we write off the loss you will be asked to show the balance sheet if you are asked to show the balance sheet for the first year only then in that case you have to do only up till this part right I have shown you the second year balance sheet just to show how it works right so this is how the discount on issue of share works this is the entry this is the journal entry share allotment account debit discount on issue of shares so supposing you have um, here uh, 10,000 shares issued at rupees 9, right? That is a discount of rupee 1. Now, let's say rupees 3 application money, and this is uh. Here I'll put it as yeah, rupees two ap application, rupees four on allotment, right, and rupees three on final call, right. So this is two plus four, six plus three, nine. So that 1 rupee discount is actually here, fine. Right? This is actually 5 minus 1, like this. So when you write your journal entries, uh, I'll just show you the journal entry for the allotment, right. It will be like this, share allotment account debit, right. This is uh, 10,000 shares, here it will be 40,000, right. The discount is here, discount on issue of shares that is 10,000 into 1 rupee that is this much and then 2 share capital account this will be 50,000. So here the loss is 10,000. In this case if you are going to write off the loss it will be 2,000 rupees for each year right for 5 years and then you will have bank account debit two share allotment now the amount of money received will be only 40,000 rupees the other entries will remain the same right and in the balance sheet you will have to write off 2,000 rupees for the current year right I mean uh, in the profit and loss account you will write off 2,000 rupees and uh, 2,000 rupees will be shown as the other current assets and 6000 rupees will be shown as other non current assets right so with that i come to the end of this session on uh, issue of shares at discount right so i have explained the journal entry which is to be put here and the accounting treatment for the balance sheet which is important in uh, this issue of shares at discount so with that, I'll end this session.